So I'm really in a, a very difficult, per, precarious situation, if you want to call that. Um, you know, I've been teaching CPR courses for about, it'll be two years in October, with the same employer, and it's been going down, down, down ever since. This Saturday, and I made a couple of videos about him, um, this Saturday, he happened to be at work. He's never at work, but he got his car impounded, so he doesn't have a choice but to look at the finances. Whoop. And he doesn't have to tell me that he's not making enough of a revenue, he's trying to cut things, blah, 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 but he doesn't want to cut me because he knows I'll go elsewhere, blah, blah, blah. Then he's sitting down with me and like, trying to come up with ideas, but then I'm like, okay, we gotta come up with a marketing plan, we gotta do this, we gotta, instead of just doing everything online where you, people are coming to you, you gotta go get people. And he's like, oh, it's too much work. You know, what else are you gonna do? So, he did tell me that in, he gave me the schedule, possible schedule for um, for the hospitals to teach for September, October. I'm not going to do what I did last year and uh, give all my days. You know, I'm not going to do that. My health is not something to play with like that. And there's no future in that company. There is no future with that. I'm doing it because the industry is like that. There's, Everything else is a lateral, lateral step, but I won't go look elsewhere until uh, he eventually goes bankrupt, and then I'll do it. I won't do it while he's there, because then uh, it's just double the amount of bullshit. You know what I mean? I'd rather be with one bullshit company, and that's it. While I learn, this is the thing. When I had my own companies, I, I, I couldn't afford to learn because they weren't my companies, and I had to do everything learn quickly and I didn't have enough money to hold me down for that now okay I don't have enough money but I have more than I did when I had the companies <laughs> you know I had no revenue and had the companies I couldn't afford to pay myself so uh, the really scrunch and save but I'm not going to bend over backwards for that. On one note, um, at high points, it's pretty okay. But I'm not going to make it at a high point working seven days a week and not knowing what's going on and putting my life on hold. Do you know what I mean? So... What I'm going to do is just calculate from what he sent me as a schedule. Some of the days are, are two a days, two classes a day, some are one. Um, I'm not going to get back at him with that because he doesn't even know. I know he doesn't know shit till last minute. But I'm going to make a prototype of what days I can do. I'll have more information at the end of August. We're only the beginning of August. Um, I'll have more information at the end of August for my therapy group, at least one of them, for my painting therapy, uh, for my personal training client, you know, to rest. Those come prior priority before this bullshit, um, except for the, you know, the three days that I already know I'm always working, it's been two years. Um, but the other days at the hospital, I'll give a few, maybe one, maybe two. I'll see how close to a salary, which is more than I'm making now because it's a slower time and I'm realizing it's a slower time during the, the summer months. He doesn't have the, the hospital contracts. So I'm really, you know, below uh, poverty with this company. Um, but then see how much more I can make and where I can pay myself and 
you know, save more and all that stuff without letting it get too overboard. At least I'll know for September and October. I'm still writing it out. I'm at the mullet over. I just took what he had me. He had me photocopy his laptop. He said he was going to send me his print screen. Then he's like, just photocopy it. And it's like, you're that lazy that you can't do a print screen and send it to me. Well, I photocopied it. Uh, I, I mean, I took a, sorry, a picture of it with my iPhone. And then I had to write it out. And some of them are not sure. Like some, and he doesn't, and I know he doesn't know shit. Um, and if you want to make it so that he doesn't pay for an Uber, that's an excuse that I'm going to say, look, I can't do that because I can't, you know, you can't afford an Uber. Um, but basically, fill in the rest of the times with my personal training client, who's usually very stable on these days. Um, and whatever else I need to fill up with the therapy classes and all that stuff. And keeping, in tra keeping tabs on my rest time. Uh, all that stuff that's important to, to me being able to be healthy and doing all this and not getting sucked into his vortex of, of, of disorganization and, and helping him out while his, while his car is impounded. I'm not helping him out. Hell no. You came to this country, you thought you were American, but you're in Canada and you thought that your shit don't stink and you have no openness to do anything to work uh, you were going to law school and you had to drop that. and But you're still not running the business. You're still not running the business. You're busy having babies, busy forking money out for renting three grand a month for a, 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 a place. Now you want to buy a place. You ain't got no money. And now you ain't got no transportation. It's like, come on. Fuck. You know? So... Of course, I don't say that because I'm, I want to keep this job. Um, but he's not open to anything. He really isn't. Um, he wants the something that brings a lot of money really quickly. It's like, well, you're in the wrong country. I'm sorry. Um, and even in the right country, you got to... It don't work like that. It really don't. So, I don't know why you thought it did. Um, get that... Get that get that Hollywood shit out of your head. It ain't, that ain't the way it works. So, yeah, build up my schedule for the past next two months. And then so I will know that I have to keep up on him when he calls me for this, this, this. Or he calls me last minute saying, oh, you're already going to the office. Let me bring you there. I'm like, I can't do the afternoon. I have to be at my next appointment by this time. I can't afford the Uber. Sorry. Do it yourself. And just stick with that because he's trying to like, you know, he's saying like, oh, it's going to be, he was saying like, oh, $10,000 in expenses this month, but we only made 12000 blah, blah, blah. I got to let Juliana go and da, 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 da. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I already know that. But I want to let you go because you're, you're going to go elsewhere, blah, 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 blah. And then he, he, he says like, oh, can you train your clients here? Can we rent out rooms? Dude. You say that for two years. You're thinking someone's going to come and save you. So. Yeah, I have to build my solid two months. And then. But I don't know what's going to happen with the therapy. You know, the one that I called and they said they'd call me end of August, beginning of September. Um, but I have to work on this. This is what I have to work on so I am protected from a psychopath trying to con me to get into something else for money that's not worth it. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't come at me last minute. You make sure this is two months in advance and it's going to be fixed like that. If there's any changes, well, I'm not available this time because everything else is booked. Um, yada, yada, yada. I can't charge him. I can charge my personal training client if I get him to book for the month. You know, but he he gets good and he he gives me a day's notice or sometimes a week's notice, so I can't really charge him for that. So I just take the day off, um, and I want to be able to go to the gym um, instead of just training here too. I haven't done that in a bit since I got sick, um, and slowly bringing myself back. And that's another thing that I th feel is falling apart. So it's not helping. 
rehabbing my knee and building my legs back up and all that stuff. So, um, for some reason I've been watching Shark Tank. It came up on my screen and there was this guy that's, um, and they refused him dead out and he was like so downtrodden and computer programmer trying to do something that was similar to um, he wanted to be the ways of airports you know knowing where everything is in the airport and building a community in airports that was his app and and when he was confronted with questions he's like oh I don't have that rich uncle I don't have this and they really berated him with that that he was so entitled um that's how my boss is. But he's like 50. <laughs> so, you know, he's not a millennial. He's a fucking psychopath. You know what I mean? Um, thinking that he worked so hard so far on his own. And then when he got a, an office and people, then you got to start it over again. You, fuck, you fucked up. You fucking up. And you're only doing one way. You're not doing the ways that need to be done. So, 